Hey everybody, J&A Review, and today we're at Triple H RV here in Haleyville, Alabama. If you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Today we're going to be looking at a 2024 KZ Connect, model number 282 FKK. Let's get started. The length on this Connect is 32 feet 3 inches. The dry weight is 7,270 pounds. And that hitch weight is 1,060. Wow. This is a really neat floor plan. We've done this one before, right? We have. We have shown you guys this one before. But this is the 24 model. So there's a little bit of update in their cabinet colors. And uh, we, just, we just wanted to show it to you again because we just really love this one. And of course, we have a KZ Connect. We do own a Connect, and we absolutely love it. And we had uh, good service out of our Connect. Yes. Now, on this one, you've got big storage here. This is going to be under your bed. Um, it is a front kitchen, so you don't have a lot of storage, outside storage under the front, but they do make up for it in other areas. Here's some of your dump area, docking station for all your water hookups. Yes. Right there. Hey. You are going to have a spare and a ladder, and of course, it is prepped for a backup camera. You do have a hitch back here, but this is not going to be for towing. Uh, this is going to be for an accessory rack if you want to add something like that. Looking down your camp side, you're going to have an 18 foot power awning with an LED light strip. You've got some outside storage here at the back. Hey. A little space right there. You do see that you're going to have power stabilizers on this one. And one more really cool thing on the outside. Well, there's a couple of cool things, but I'm going to show you this one first. Well, we're going to show you this one first. Uh, you do have a little mini uh, kitchen outside. See, I like this because I'd love to have a little, little setup like this. Yes, and your quick connect is going to be right below it. Good year tires. And equal flex. And I love an, that stuff. And an equal flex. And we have an equal flex. That's right. It, it flexes. flexes. <laughs> so we also have this uh, same leash latch. So Rosie likes it a lot. And before we get started, I want to. Give a shout out to Dennis. Dennis, I believe you're going to like this one. That was the first thing he said when we started looking at this one. At least. We think Dennis is going to like this. Yep. So, as you can see, it is a front kitchen. So, hey, let's just start right up here at the front. You are going to have a nice big windshield. Um, there is a cover, and it's actually one of these? in one of those cabinets right ah, there. there it is. And it yeah. will snap. Snap into place. place. Yeah. Yes. So you can, um, if you're out in the sun, you can cover that windshield up. But one of the new things for 24 are these cabinet colors. Uh, yeah. They're they're. I don't know how they're going to show up on the video, but they're sort of um. They're a beigey, topish. Yeah. Color. They're they're not as gray as they have been in the past. Mm -mm. Now, right up front, huge huge counter space. Big single basin sink with a high-rise faucet. Nice space over here for a garbage can. And more space under the sink. You can almost put another one under there. The if tire you leak. Ah, yes, it's it is. back there. Yep. There you go. Prepped for the tire leak. You see that your heating is going to be in the floor in this one. Wow. Four nice size drawers. Yeah. Right by the sink. Backing on up. Looking here into the kitchen, of course, your microwave is going to be up above. Yep. Um, Good vent. Three burner cooktop with an oven. And, uh, and more drawers. Hey, this is nice right here. Yes. So, I really like it. These do not have solid surface uh, countertops, but they are nice sealed edge countertops. I think I like these better than I do uh, what we've got. Yeah, the pattern on ours is a little bit busy. Yeah. But then again, that's what happens if we <laughs> three years later. <laughs> well, it is a 21 model. Yes, so. it is. But we still, we, we love, love ours. Love it. Uh, right next to that is going to be your 12-volt compressor fridge. Yep. 
If you saw that, it closed real it quick. It closed really quick. We're not sitting level, so that's part of the problem. Is that, oh, I thought it was just me. No, we're, we're not quite level. But um, your fuses, and you've got a plug-in right down under there. Um, let me turn around and you, show you. You have said I was off half a bubble sometimes. More than half a bubble sometimes. Okay, anyway, you. moving right along. Under your dinette here, you're going to have some storage on both sides. And, of course, this dinette will make into some additional sleeping if you need it. Um, uh, there should be, a, should be a tub on both sides. Finishing out this slide is going to be your theater seating. Um, it's got cup holders here in the middle. You've got, let's see what all we got here. We have USB, light, heat. There's another plug in with USB right in the middle. Yep. And both of your big windows on this slide are going to open if you need them. Now, having a nice little seat right here, I'll just start right up at the top. You've got some um, accent lighting yeah. behind your TV. I'm not real sure where the switch is on that. I bet right there? No. How about there? There. Okay. You found it. Uh, good size TV. This is probably what a 40, yeah. 40 inch more than likely Sansui. You do have uh, a Jensen sound system right below it. Some storage here. That's a nice storage too. And a nice size electric fireplace. Yep. Uh, I think I've already pointed out your heating is in the floor. And this is just as you come in the door, you have a very good size pantry with a motion light. And they already give you some hooks in place for... Um, and you got two over there and two over here, so yeah. Yeah, so you can hang up brooms, mops, jackets, dog leashes. Yeah, dog leash. All that fun stuff. Because we have Rosie. Your control panel is going to be over here. And here is your one. AC unit right up there. Nice sliding door going into the bedroom. Yes, king size bed on a slide. You do have some um, shelves here on both sides with the reading lights. You've got power on both sides, and I think the USB is in in the reading lights, but don't hold me to that. I'm not real sure. I think we've checked this before and still don't know. I don't know. I'll let you move on something else now. <laughs> All right. Right over here, you're going to have a nice hanging area. You could add some additional shelves and if, if you want to open storage below but this is also prepped for a combo washer dryer yes 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 the usb very bottom. is on the reading lights okay that's yes. i thought we were right but you know sometimes we know. we get things wrong believe it or not really <laughs> uh you do have a second ac in this one storage underneath and as you should um, saw that this you can access this from the outside also now at the foot of the bed oh goodness I don't know yeah where you, you have really nice storage system i'm gonna see if i can slide up here beside the bed so i can get all of this in the shot but good storage on both sides your tv's already up there again some more accent lighting nice big window and <laughs> All of this, um, storage on both sides. You got sh uh, open shelving, two smaller drawers, two bigger drawers. Wow. And then of course you can add things there on that ledge if you need to. I had a comment. I'm just going to throw this out there to you. I had a comment that uh, one of these clips we showed, people were disappointed that they had the hardware that was Outside instead of hidden hardware. Well, I understand that Connect is not an entry level. It's kind of the step above an entry level. Now, if you want to go really fancy and get your really fancy cabinet trees, you're going to have to go up to a Durango to get uh, that. Durango or Durango Go. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, but if the hinges are what is throwing you off, come on. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> anyway. All right. All right, Dennis, here we go. This, this is, is for you. you, for sure. This is the rear bath in here. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, Jeremy's six feet tall. Uh, no problem. No problem at all. Skylight's in a good place. Um, 
not a very big step up. You do have the retractable door in here, so well done on the shower. Foot flush toilet's gonna be right here. You'll see that it's got a really great angle, plenty of leg room back here. Medicine cabinet's kind of off to the side here. It does have a mirror on it. There's some um, storage down below. Oh, let me get out of the way here. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that it's so big in here. More storage under the sink. Um, open area right here. That's nice. I like that. I like that. More huge. I don't know. Gosh, you could add two or three shelves yeah. in there. Or even a hanging rod if you needed it. Yeah, you could. Um, wow drawers down here now on the outside you had outside storage is underneath there well speaking of well, that never mind there is your extra hanging storage okay. you put a shelf in that one then yeah wow. this is a really well done bathroom yeah i, really I like, like this it. and again um they carried the up um updated cabinet colors and hardware <clears throat> into the bathroom did you point out that your controls for your tankless water heater I did not. is right here? Right here. And this has got a Fogetti. Fogetti. And I heard that these were really great. We've heard really water good heaters. things yes. about these. So we don't know yet. But we don't hey, know. Leave us a comment if you have one. Tell us what you think about them. Yeah, we don't know. We still got the tank. <laughs> we still have a tank. Which works very good. It does work very good. Um, Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. If you like this Connect Travel Trailer, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Follow along with us. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you.